I'm looking for a house where someone's called, so there's a snake stuck in some netting. Uh, we get this call way too often. So uh, we're gonna find this house right now and hopefully we'll be able to help the snake. How y'all doing? Yeah. Good, how are you? I'm good. good. James Austin. Jason Clark, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I you met you a long you. time ago. Oh yeah? Okay. I was with the sheriff's office Oh cool. We got a bunch of chickens out here, huh? Yeah. Um, you can see they hemmed up in that corner right there. Oh yeah, let's go over and look at them. Is it best to get it inside here? Oh, uh, there's inside, one's outside. Yeah, you got a head on the like side. They're like roping in the fence, yeah. Found me some snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. We get a lot of rat snakes, but these are timber rat. Is that two? Yeah, yeah there's, there's two. two. Okay. There's two of them. So that's yep. two timber rattlesnakes in there. Yeah, the rat snakes we don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> if you need to cut anything away, I can always put it back. Well, I'm thinking that's what we might have to do. It's all zip ties holding it all together, so. Uh, I don't want the snakes to get hurt, but uh, I sure don't want to get bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, snake, are you? I'm hoping your head is hung really good. One of them's hung with his body. It's wrapped. I'm just gonna have to neck. cut this fence yeah, loose yeah. and try to. Okay. All right. So that one. Yeah. So he's hung in that net. So he ain't gonna go very far. Hang on, Mr. Snake, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Snake. Mm -hmm. Just let me. I'm trying. I just want to let them move for a minute, kind of see how far what their movement is that they're able to do. All right. Oh. I know, fella. That netting is no joke, is it? And this is just a tough situation right here. I don't use these tones a lot, but this is a situation where it's kind of, okay, his head's over there. I got a second to cut here. There we go, okay. We're getting it. We're gonna get it. They are uh, stuck in there good, good, good. So as I'm cutting this, having to really watch, make sure they're not able to come up and get me. <laughs> It'd be different if it's one rattlesnake, but we got two rattlesnakes. And they're tangled together. And they're tangled together. And their heads are not tangled. <laughs> Just half of their body. <sighs> While he's trying to figure out what he's doing, consider supporting us by getting a Southeastern Reptile Rescue shirt. They're only 20 bucks and shipping is free. You don't wear shirts, that's fine. We take donations too. Any amount helps us keep doing what we do. So. Okay, this one's loose. This one's loose. Here we go. Oh, no, he's not loose. He's almost loose. Almost. Okay. I've got both rattlesnakes in my tongs so if I can hold both of them in a set of tongs at the same time got one rattlesnake loose all right so we're gonna put this in the box now the situation just got half as dangerous as it was a while ago so he's still got netting on him but we're not going to worry about that yet we'll have to get that off in a minute all right 
Now for you. Okay. And you can see that netting on there. It is on there really tight. So there's no way a snake can survive that. Because that stuff's not going to rot off anytime soon. So that would uh, definitely kill that snake. And that is a big timber. That's definitely enough to kill me. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to lay you right here for a second, snake. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay. And we're going to put you in here with your boyfriend unless you're the boy and that's your girlfriend i don't know well we saw a female the other day yeah on up at the shop so yeah she went on in the woods but these two didn't follow hmm. her all right so here you go Put both of you in this box Hold that. Alrighty. Whew. Well, I don't know if that was the easy part or the hard part because I still have to get the netting like, off. Go yeah, so <laughs> we're going to figure that out. Alright, good deal. Well, that one bit me a few times. Hopefully, we don't have a, re a repeat with this one. Hopefully, that won't be the case. So, well, thank you guys. Thank and, uh, you. That we can get them out of there for you. I bet that was some sight when you first saw that, <laughs> yeah. huh? Yeah, I went to put the chickens up, and there's a snake. And then there's two snakes. All righty. Well, we just got two timber rattlesnakes out of the fence. They're tangled together. The netting is still on them. So hopefully, I can get this netting off without them getting hurt and without me getting bit by a rattlesnake. <laughs> so that's going to be the hard part. Alright, I decided to come in here. That way I can <laughs> see what I'm doing. Because it's, uh, it's just too dark outside. And too dangerous with the kind of snakes that we're having to deal with. So, what we're going to do is... There they go to their rattling. What we're going to do is we're going to take one snake at a time... Uh, luckily, we're able to separate them. So one snake at a time, and then we're going to restrain the snake and hopefully do that safely and get the netting cut off of it. But to restrain the snake, I'm going to have to use these tubes right here. Um, these are restraining tubes that are made specifically for venomous snakes. Now, there's a lot of tubes in here. We've got some even bigger tubes than this, but uh, in case we need a really big snake. But they, they, there's a lot of tubes in here of all different sizes for all different size snakes. So what we do, and I'm just guessing, I don't know if this is the right size, we'll see in a minute. But I'm thinking, not the biggest tube, but maybe the next to biggest tube. It might take the biggest tube, I don't know. So. I think this tube right here, what we're going to do, we're going to get the snake to crawl in here. And <laughs> sometimes it takes a minute. And once he crawls in, we can hold the snake's body and the tube. His head will be up in here. We can restrain the snake and then safely work with him. All right. So Audrey is in here doing some other stuff. <laughs> she's doing some other stuff with the snakes. So uh, she's doing what she needs to do. So we're going to do this. But... Um, I'm going to take one snake out. Typically, this is not what I normally put venomous snakes in, but that's what we had. Alright, so this one, I'm going to get whoever's on top here. And that one's got you cut pretty bad. This snake is a little bloody. So come on out here. And I'm 
main cone pool. We're going to put the snake right on the floor. You stay there. I'm going to close this back up because the other rattlesnake is inside this box here. Okay. Move this out of the way. And now it's time to get that snake in this tube. <laughs> and this is not always an easy thing to do. Snake, you're almost in there. It's a good tube. You're gonna like the tube once you get in it. Maybe not. There we go. Got it. So now the snake is safely restrained and I can handle it and not have to worry about getting bit. Alright, thank you, Audrey. So uh <laughs> The timber rattlesnake is safely restrained inside this tube right here. And as long as I'm holding part of the tube and part of the snake, it can't back out. So now, while I've got it, I'm gonna try to change hands because I'm right-handed. Audrey, will you come over here and just help? You know the other side of me? And I want you just to hold the tail and just restrain it because uh, just this whole part of the body right here, just restrain all that, because this snake may start to kind of wiggle, and if it starts jerking around, I don't want it to get loose, and I don't want to get myself cut. I don't see a whole lot of netting on here, but this one piece, which is really tight. And then, man, that was really down in the skin pretty deep. So that netting is horrible for wildlife, not just snakes. All right, so now what we do, I think that was it. Most of the netting came off. I see it's even missing scales over here. Most of the netting came off uh, when we first cut it loose. So, I mean, look, there's blood on my hand. There's blood here. But this snake should heal up pretty easily from this. This is not a deep cut. It's just a, just a scratch as far as snakes go. All right, so this snake is done. Uh, there wasn't much netting on him or her. I'm not sure what this is. I believe this is a male. Um, timbers are pretty easy to sex as far as snakes go, just by looking underneath their tail. The, the males have a much longer tail than females do, but I would guess this is a male. Um, that's just a guess. But uh, this snake is going to be turned right back loose tomorrow. Um, his injuries are really not bad at all. The netting is completely off and it's a very healthy snake. So I think this snake needs to go right back out in the wild as soon as I can get it there. All right, we got rattlesnake number two coming out of the box. All right, same thing here. Get the snake into the tube as best we can. There we go. He went in there pretty easy. So, uh, and he's only got one piece left on him too to cut off. So maybe this won't be as hard as I thought it was gonna be. All right, so this snake, <laughs> he's lost most of his rattle. A very small rattle on here. And uh, a lot of people mistakenly think that you can tell how old a rattlesnake is by how long of his rattle is, and that's not true. Uh, rattlesnakes are born on what's called a button. And Audrey, come hold this side again over here for me. Well, I'm going to talk while I get them off, and you don't slide out of the snake. So hang on to them here. They're born with what's called a button, and uh, every time they shed their skin, they add one segment. And the more they eat, the more they grow, the more they shed their skin, and they can shed their skin several times a year. So that rattle is constantly growing. And it's made of the same thing your fingernails are made of, keratin. So it easily breaks off. 
So counting a rattlesnake's rattles doesn't really tell you much. And I think that's your only piece. It's just really, oh, there we go, okay. That was really embedded in the scales there. That's the last, he, he just had one piece too. So these snakes weren't stuck as horribly as I've seen some rat snakes and king snakes and things stuck before. So uh, that's really good. So this came off really well. And this snake is uh, does not have any blood like the other snake did. Uh, but this snake seems to be in really, really good health. Very nice, healthy, fat, thick timber rattlesnake. And um, this one also appears to be a male. Uh, this is breeding season right now for, for these snakes. So maybe these are two males on the trail of a female. <laughs> Hopefully they got to breed before they got all caught up and tangled up and bloody. So uh, this snake will also uh, be kept here overnight. And we're going to give them some water, let them get a good drink, and let them recuperate. Tomorrow they will be released right back near where they came from, not too far from where they came from actually. So uh, I'm just glad this worked out as good as it did because where these snakes were, it could have been really, really bad situation to be able to get those snakes cut loose out of there uh, without getting bit. But that's exactly how we want this to go. Perfect. <laughs> well, the homeowner didn't want the rattlesnakes released back on their property, okay? <laughs> What's wrong with people? I don't know. But anyway, if you can hear them, they're rattling, they're ready to go. So they're going to be turned loose right now. Now, timber rattlesnakes typically have a home range of about one square miles for females and about a one and a half square miles or so for males. And they typically stay in that area their entire life. That's their neighborhood. That's where they know where things are and how best to live there. So we're pretty close in that range right here. So I'm hoping once these rattlesnakes are released, they're gonna get out here, start flicking their tongue and realize, oh yeah, I'm home. This is where I live. Uh, because I think they're gonna do just fine. They're very healthy. They weren't injured too bad. So let's get them turned loose right now. All right, snake. Come on out here, fella. Ooh. Calm down, calm down. There we go. Ooh -hoo, that's a good looking rattlesnake right there. That's a good looking snake. So we're going to turn you loose first. Now snake number two, it's your turn. You're the one that had a little bit of blood on you last night, but uh, I think you're gonna be just fine. All right, here we go. Go enjoy your life. 